All right, going to work out a uh, problem for you guys, make a video, 10.6.4. What we have here is two circles that, that are 20 units apart. Zoom in real quickly. Uh, they're 20 units apart. So what that means is then that their centers are 20 units apart. So if here's one center, here's the other. You have this line with a length of 28. And they have a common chord that is 30 units long. In other words, they must intersect at two places because if they intersect at two places, then you can draw a chord between those two points on the circumference of each of the circles, and they share that chord. Now that's 30 units long. So now if the radius of one of the circles is 17, find the radius of the other. Okay, there we go. Well, one of the things that we know from what we learned today is that if the radius is perpendicular, if the radius is perpendicular to a chord, then it has to bisect the chord. Now, how do we know that this is, in fact, perpendicular? When we say the distance between two points, we're talking about the shortest distance. So this line must be the shortest distance between this center and this center right here, meaning it must be a perpendicular line with this chord. Therefore, it must bisect it. So if we knew it was 13, 30 in the first place, we now know this is 15 and 15. All right, and then we know the radius of one of the circles is 17. It really doesn't matter which circle I name as having the radius of 17. I don't know if it's the bigger one or the smaller one. I'm just going to call this the radius 17. And look how I drew this. Again, I drew this very st strategically in order to make for myself a nice right triangle. A right triangle with a side 15, a missing side A, and then a hypotenuse 17. So we know we can set up, set up in order to find this little missing side A right here, we can set up a Pythagorean equation. And we know this is a Pythagorean triple, so we know A is equal to eight, meaning if this whole pink line or this whole purple line was 28, and now A is equal to eight, we know this remaining side must be equal to 20. Well, how does that really even help us to, to, to advance with this problem? Well, what we needed to do in the first place was we needed to find the missing radius of the other circle. And so here is that missing radius right there. And we needed to find this missing radius. I'll call it C. And now we have all the tools to do so. In fact, we have a right triangle. We have one leg is 15, the other leg is 20. So we have a Pythagorean theorem situation. Or you can just think to yourself, hold on a second, 15, 20, that's like a three, four triangle multiplied by a scale factor of five. So we know this is a three, four, five triangle. Well, what must C be then? C must be 25. And there's that missing radius.